on our way back to Northfield, uh, never got a nummy to look at the radar. I get to uh, the meadows, it rained a little bit, but not bad. <laughs> but I can tell you what, it poured in Northfield. Poured. They delayed the races, which if it wasn't because of rain, it would have been fine because I am actually running a little bit behind. I was scheduled to drive in race four and five. And at the time, I didn't think I could make either of them. But thanks to Mother Nature, it appears I'll make both of them. Um, <laughs> somebody messaged me and said, not much of an update on the horse. I forget which horse it was. I said, listen, I was in a big hurry to get to the races. I walked in the door 20 minutes before uh, Lonely Lake Woods race, but I did want to bring everybody an update in the morning. I was very happy with the way the horses trained this morning. And quite frankly, happy with the way that they have raced so far today. It's early in the day. It's only uh, 6.30, 6.40, and we've already raced um, one, two, three, four horses. We still have uh, one, two, three, four, five left to go, but we've only raced four of them. Oh, Save America races on there. I forgot about that. So we're going to kick off the day, uh, kick off our midday recap with Lonely Lakewood. Um, I didn't realize how deep the track was, which was odd. They knew that there was a chance of rain, and they still had the track all dug up. When I got there, um, the Lonely Lakewood, you could tell he struggled. Well, he's a little bit short, maybe. I told you he wasn't going to be short. He, he technically wasn't short, short, but when you don't race for three weeks and then train about 58, five days out, he's still maybe a little bit short. Um, struggled, I believe, with the flip-flops to get through that track. Today. It just seemed like every time I asked him, he wasn't being sour about it. He just kind of, every time I really asked him to trot forward, he kind of sashayed to the left, which makes me believe that he was kind of touching himself and he wasn't really advancing. He wasn't, you know, I used the term sitting on, sitting down on you last week. Um, he wasn't doing that. He wasn't doing anything bad. I, but he wasn't advancing when I wanted him to. He raced good. He raced good, got the job done, held off Aaron Soros and was a winner. I figured when the two favorites run leaving, that probably sitting one two would likely be the best case scenario, uh, and likely what was about to happen. That's exactly what took place. Get the job done. It's all that matters. Um, watch really don't care. It started to rain a little bit. Mark told me that really don't care it was still a little bit pinchy on that left front, which is concerning a little bit. I may have to have our vet take a look at this horse before we send her to Goshen if that's the plan. Um, Megan had said when she made a break, she jumped on her foot, plus she had hit that left front. Now, did she hit the left front, or is there something going on in that left front? I'm not sure just yet, but Mark did say that her left front was bothering her a little bit in the mile. Uh, scored her down, you know, tightened her hobbles up, and, and uh, two of them stayed trot, and we were one of them. No one broke rule number one today yet. So, very happy that really don't care for the second in the Excelsior race, good for her. I would love to see this filly and Blanche Blue at Goshen. Um, but Mark had said, well, I'll tell you what, my two cents, as is she's not getting around Goshen. Okay, I appreciate that. Maybe we'll have, uh, maybe I'll have a little look at uh, that really don't care then. Um, soon, soon. Um, Re, uh, ready for landing. You know, this colt is changing quite a bit as we go along through the year. We let his hobbles out. We took the flip-flops off of him. And then today, he did something that he had never done before. We went to Guada there. I looked left and I said, looks like there's going to be a bit of a, as Vance would say, a little bit of a brouhaha on the, on, to the left. And I just didn't want to get tangled up in that. You know, I'm trying to teach the horse. We're still trying to teach him, right? still trying to learn and I, I was so surprised I just kind of seesawed him a little bit and come back to me and I was able to take him right back to last there was no spots at the end there's no vacancy in the middle so we just I just took him back to last he sat there and behaved never got anxious I moved him second over never got anxious I could see that the horse I was following was not that good um, at least today and I, there was no point. What was it going to do? Shove him three wide getting into the last turn. I just want to see the horse finish up his mile well. The front three had kind of got away, but we're still in striking range if he put in a good showing, and he did. 
we halfway around the last turn, I started him up three wide, never put a step in. Come out of the turn, I moved him over. He's on the right line a little bit, but I kind of shook him off it, moved him over, and let him trot forward. The horse was fantastic. Finished up his mile, charging on the end of it, got up to finish third. The horse did everything perfect, perfect today. I was thoroughly pleased from what I saw from uh, Ready for Landing today. So um, optimistic about his future. I'd said to somebody we were talking after the race, and I said, you know, a, lot, a colt that I had a lot of respect for, you know, what the hell's brother. I think, you know, we get some racing in him, give him a little break, and then start him. I'd like to see the horse race in the Meadowlands this winter is where I'd like to see him race. And if we could do that and, and he could be competitive and consistent, much like he is right now, I think we could have a, a nice horse on our hands. So still, fingers, you know, fingers crossed, a long year to go yet, lots of stuff going on for ready for landing, but impressed with his mile today. It was very, very good. And then, uh, you know, as much as it has rained on our way home, as much as it, it didn't rain, rain at the Meadows, it just spit a little bit, but as much as it's rained at Northfield Park, it poured at Buffalo after Really Don't Care's race. Luckily, it was raining a little bit, but not bad. I tuned in to watch the replay of Blanton's Blue. Oh, my God. You could see the gate moving. Like, the gate was sliding. Ah. I'm like, oh, my God. Look at it pour. Blanton's Blue, never never bad at night. Billy drove him good. Mark and Billy both drove very good today. Ground-saving trips. Did all the work proper and got every nickel we were going to get today. So, a great job by both of those guys. Uh, Blanton's Blue, again... Did his work well. I was hopeful down the back stretch. I'm looking the horse on the front side, nine to one. I'm saying, geez, if he collapses, we're in a great place right now. He didn't collapse. He drove away on everyone. The horse in the two hole come back on him. We were beaten third, but race good. I was happy with both the horses today. Now, theoretically, both of those two would head to Goshen, but as I said, I want to get really don't care looked at. Blanton's Blue will likely head there. I, I didn't know what would happen after today. I'll be completely frank with everybody. Had they raced poorly today, I likely would have brought them both right back to Northfield Park. So the fact that they did not uh, put me in a bit of an odd situation. I didn't know which way to go. I think Taylor and Fritz had done a great job with the horses. We'll leave them there for a day or so. Um, you know, get her vet to have a look at them. I do want to bring Really Don't Care up here. So it's more than likely you won't see Really Don't Care in Goshen, but you likely will. See, really, uh, Blanton's blue in Goshen. That's my plan, anyway, as we uh, as we talk right now loud shortly after the race. Tonight, we still have Sweeney at 742. That's in about an hour. We have Gorgeous Package an hour after that. Lover's Play is in tonight. Purple People Eater and Save America. We got four or five pretty decent. I know Sweeney's longer odds, but I know that Brent and Stacy both like him. So I'm interested to see how he races. But the last four of the night are all in very good spots. Gorgeous package, lovers play, save America, and purple people eater. So we're midway through our Wednesday. I had training this morning and a double duty at the Meadows in Northfield. You're all caught up for the Meadows. I'm off to Northfield. I'll be there in a little while. We'll get some racing to do tonight. And then I'll either recap, you on, recap that on the way back to Brunswick or tomorrow morning. We'll see how things go. It'll be contingent on how the races go. But a good start to the day. We've had a uh, first, a second, a third, two thirds so far. Take care.